Welcome to week two of Atlantic City Marathon training. Even though this week was a little bit harder than the first week, I am truly quite happy with how things went. I was able to do a lot of strength training. I also was able to do all my runs exactly as prescribed and managed to get out for a two hour bike ride, which was so fun till I managed to get into a little issue at the end. Follow me as I train for the Atlantic City Marathon. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things. Well, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you're not new. For those of you who are, though, I will introduce myself. I am a 50 year old woman. I work corporate America and I love being active. When I turned 50, I heard through the grapevine that I should be starting to take things easier and not running as much because it's bad for your knees. Well, I call BS, guys. I am going to continue doing this for as long as I can. If you are also a master's runner like me, or if you want to get into running, maybe this channel will be a hub. I hope so, and I hope that you will consider subscribing. It's totally free. Also, this time around for this marathon, I am following Ben Park's L2 marathon plan. The link will be below. You do have to pay for this plan. I believe it's something like 10 bucks. It's pretty accessible. Okay, we're out. Tuesday. And the sun is high up in the sky and it's so hot today. It's probably 80 something. So we're gonna take it super, super, super easy. And we're gonna do four miles with four strides. Let's do it. No sé que tú ves en mí, mi amor. Yo no dejes de mirarme. So if you follow me on Patreon, and for Patreon you do have to pay $3 a month, you will have my plan more in detail. I'll tell you how I am doing extra things, not only the runs, but I'm also doing cross training as well as, well, all the strength training is a program that I put together myself. So if you're interested in that, you can always go to Patreon, give it a try for a month, and then you can cancel if you're not interested anymore. But in the past, I was used to running a ton more. I was running six days a week. With this plan, I'm running at the moment three days a week. It's going to up to four and then to five. It's amazing the difference in between running in the shade and running under the sun. It's so much easier to run in the shade. Okay, we're gonna do the strides. Four. Oof. This was hard, guys. This was very hard. It's very hot. I didn't even check the temperature to be honest, but I think it's probably oh god, 88, 89. Okay. Okay. I think I chose the sunniest stretch to do my strides. It's okay though. Okay, we did one, we're gonna do the second one. Oh, when the breeze blows. Oh. Nice. Hey, dog. We took the box, guys. We're done. And now we're gonna take a shower and start working. I'm working from home today, but then I'm meeting co-workers for lunch, which is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, guys, I am going out. I work from home in the morning. I'm gonna work from home in the afternoon as well. But I am going to have lunch in a restaurant here. It's a super nice restaurant. I'll film what I can for you guys. It's a group of five of us going out for lunch. It's 
work co-workers so yeah people I'm really close with we couldn't do it yet we would have we would have done it yesterday but we didn't so we have to do it today okay and it's let me tell you the temperature 93 degrees no 94 it's actually it's not true it's probably much higher than that because the car was inside the garage here we are okay Well, I didn't film anything. I just took a picture of my key lime pie, which I must say was out of this world. Well, good morning, guys. I am a little sweaty and I'm up walking. Today's my rest day, Wednesdays. If you've been following me for a little bit, let's back up. You know that, or, well, you should know, but maybe you don't, <laughs> maybe you haven't noticed. Usually Mondays I used to rest, but now I'm resting Wednesdays just because of how Van Parks' plan is structured and yeah, so I took Annie for a walk for like 1.2 miles. She's getting old, she can't really walk a lot, so and now I'm walking myself. And I'm trying to keep a 16 minute mile, something like that. I have about 30 more minutes. And then I have to come back, take a shower. And I'm um, sitting in front of the computer to walk to work. I'm gonna go to the office Thursday and Friday. Thursday and today we have a progression run. I have slept today which actually was really good and I woke up with my heart rate as low as it's ever been. I don't think I've ever had it this low. <laughs> so yeah okay we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna loop around the house a couple times. take off my t-shirt because I was way too hot so now I have the one mile cool down I did my three progressive and yeah how pretty is this house guys it's really old but it's really pretty okay I don't think anyone lives inside it doesn't seem to even though that the lawn is cut Whew. this is gonna be a really good workout okay I'll catch up with you at the end battery low okay should be able to get home okay I'm done Oof. that was quite something guys let's see oh wow the training effect super high for for aerobic 1.5 1.5 anaerobic Going to work today. It's raining. I beat the rain. 
Spain after I came from Iran. So I'm actually gonna come back right after lunch back home because Annie is alone and I don't want her to be alone for very long. So yeah, my poor puppy doesn't do well alone anymore. She has a lot of little quirks and she's getting old. As I said, as I've said in the past, I've said this many times lately because I am noticing it more and more. So I'm home right now and the coworker, the friend who invited us the other day, a group of us to for lunch the other day, he came, stopped by my desk and he had this and he left it behind. I'm just opening it now that I'm in the house, but. So this is it, the local bakery. And look at this, like, man, he went to town. I told him get me, he asked me and I said, just get me a croissant. But look at how much he brought. This is crazy. Okay guys, we are going to do all legs today. Why? Just because I said that I was gonna do two sessions of strength training, full body strength training per week. I've done one this week. I'm gonna do legs. I might do full body or maybe arms tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm gonna do 40 minutes. I think it's gonna end up being about 40 minutes. Okay, I'm tired today, I woke up with nightmares last night. My son is going on vacation next week. He's going to Orlando with friends to the amusement parks. And obviously as a mom, I get worried when my son is not in his routine. So, okay, let's exercise. One thing that I do typically every week is out of the two or three strength training sessions that I do, one of them is with heavy load and trying to control the movement going down and going up, like doing them slowly and doing less reps. So it's high intensity that way because again, I am just loading more weight and doing things slower. Okay, the problem with these last ones for me is the holding with my arms. My arms are not as strong. So when I'm doing the lunges and the split squats, my arms get very tired, more tired quickly than my legs. So, yeah. So I have a handicap that way. Today I have to return those two books to the library. Okay. That was hard, guys. 
That was a hard workout. What did I do to myself? So, I like coming on Fridays because no one else comes on Fridays. It's pretty empty. Well, guys, end of the work big week. Finally, seems like it's never getting here, but it always does. And I'm going to stop at the library because I put a book on hold and I have to return two other books. So I'm going to return my two books and pick up, pick up the other one. Good morning, guys. Saturday morning early I was so tired yesterday I went to bed very early I went to bed at 9 fell asleep like a rock super quickly but I was awake early this morning earlier than usual on a weekend so I'm walking Annie because it's nice and cool and she appreciates walk when it's not too hot so I'm gonna walk her and then I'll come back I have my shoes on and everything so I'll come back, get my backpack, my camel back, because today we have a long run. 10 miles, 4 miles easy, 3 miles a marathon pace, 3 miles easy again. So, yeah, and we're going to do them on flat, and tomorrow we don't have a run. So initially this was programmed for tomorrow. But I'm going to do it today because today is going to be a little cooler. We're going to have four or five degrees less. I'll check them. And um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to go on a bike ride. Like I want to go on a nice, maybe two hours, two and a half hours long bike ride. We'll see. I might just go for a hike. But I am thinking because it's going to be hotter. The bike ride might be a better option because it's going to be like almost 100 again tomorrow. So, yeah. noticed on Ben Park's plan is that the long runs are really intense. I'm used to doing my long runs all, you know, the whole long run at an easy pace. Ben Park's long runs always have some marathon pace or half marathon pace, depending on what you're training for, embedded in there. And these are hard, you guys. For this day, I had to do 10 miles, three of those at marathon pace. And it was really hot and my tush was absolutely on fire. So yeah, first mile, 400 miles. I'm trying to go as slow as possible because I have those three miles to marathon pace. And I am sore from yesterday in my glutes. So. I'm really sore. I can't even can't imagine how sore I would have been tomorrow because usually my soreness is more 48 hours later and we are only 24 hours later so walking guys because I forgot my clip the interval timer so I'm just riding the hallway it's also not as hot as other days which I'm grateful for
sound quite strange, but during this run, even though it was hard, I actually wished it had been longer. So when I was running and I was like, hmm, I wish I could go till 20 miles. So isn't that crazy? This feels a little weird. I think my seat is too low. I am going to see if I can lift the... It's too low. Up and take off my t-shirt because I'm like sweating bullets and also to reposition everything in my camelback. I had forgotten how hard it is to move this bike. It's so heavy. It's really really heavy. Oof, and just to pedal on it is so hard. To, to New Hope thinking well to New Hope should be two hours there's no way I've done seven miles and I am almost at one hour so yeah I think I'm gonna go a little bit ahead and then turn around I'll turn around at the one hour mark yeah it's quite something guys Man. Passing me on their bikes. My two she's on fire. This seat is so uncomfortable. I should have factored that in. Okay. I see the end of light up the end of the tunnel oh man I'm 
tired and I am achy in places I didn't know you could be achy I am two and a half miles from home I just came up a huge hill I'm dying guys this, this is not pretty so my adventure came to an end because when I was changing gears one of them just came out of the place so I am pushing my bike okay so I am in the parking lot of my shop right I'm gonna go grocery shopping now and I got home I was so tired took a shower ate lunch laid down with the boots on with my recovery boots from Queenier on and I fell asleep for two and a half hours yeah and I just realized I promised my son that I was going to take him to the airport tomorrow morning because he's going to Orlando with friends so I have to take him there we need to leave the house at four in the morning so I'm gonna have to go to bed early tonight and the siesta is gonna mess up everything obviously because I slept way too long who's gonna how am I gonna go to bed early tonight it's gonna be interesting but my legs are busted totally busted I mean in between the hard session of strength training Thursday the long run yesterday with the fast three miles in the middle and today's bike ride they are like my hamstrings are I go up the stairs and I have to hold on for dear life to the you know to help myself up that's how bad I am like they are so exhausted I think it did too much you guys what do you think I think it did too much okay I'm gonna buy something for dinner because it's just my husband and I for the week till Friday I don't have to stock up on a lot of stuff so that's the this, this was the week 18 miles a little bit over running two hours biking almost two hours biking about 14 15 miles on my bike 13 miles walking which is quite good i would say i want to up those walking miles as well this coming week and an hour 25 off strength training so i will call this a good week again if you want more information about my current split my training there's more detail on patreon if you're interested in that you can give it a try it's three dollars a month and then you can cancel anytime so if you don't like it you only have to pay those three initial dollars I hope you're having a great week. Let me know in the comments below how your training is going and I'll see you next week. Bye, fearless.